what's up guys and welcome back to another reaction video and for this uh for this video we're gonna react to the inside of the game the world of uh, sanctuary for the uh diablo 4 game um so they just uh they just released this video today and we're gonna react to it and then we'll see how the new diablo 4 is going to be and probably how they made it and stuff like that so we're gonna get to it and then we're gonna to react to it, and then once we're done, we will talk about it and and what we just saw and stuff. Uh, so the video is seven minutes long, so it's a good, decent sized video for us to watch. So let's go ahead and do this. Sanctuary Diablo, is the world in which the story of Diablo takes place. And it's the battleground for the souls of humanity and the fight between angels and demons. Sanctuary is a vast world and there'll always be something new in every area, like hordes of enemies, safe haven towns, resources to gather, events, quests, and more. We wanted to bring Diablo 4 artistically more back towards like Diablo 2, the much darker style. It's very mm. macabre. The That's artists a cool and designers have had or so much fun same. working on it, and it's just been a joy to create for us. How would the people of Sanctuary show their world? What kinds of art would they use to describe the world? One of the things we really wanted to do was make the game feel like a painting. Everything mm -hmm. was built by a wonderful group of people who love does, Diablo. Does, does this does look cool, do. dude. I'm not gonna lie. We have five unique zones. Each of the regions has its own kind of flavor and ambient life. We take a lot of influence from what our concept artists give us, and I know they take a lot of influence from real life. There's Kedjistan, mm -hmm. which is the sort of desert. It's amazing with its sweeping sand dunes. Skaz Glen, which is inspired by Scotland. Fractured Peaks is inspired by the Carpathian Mountains. The Dry Steps is sort of our mountainous desert region, and Hauzar cool. is the swampy region of the south. Whether you're on a mount or on foot, it's a joy to go from one region to the next. Also, the region transitions are really beautiful and stunning to see. You know what I Making hope sure for? that it felt sort of one geologically day, true um, was really important. If you walk from Fracture Peaks into Howza... I hope that uh, one day uh, Blizzard will make this game kind of um, uh, kind of like the World of Warcraft uh, environment where you're like on the ground, you know, like a third person type of game and not the top down that would be cool are, you'll cross all of these waterfalls caused by snow melt so you can actually see the snow melting in fractured peaks through waterfalls entering into Hauzar and entering the large basin that fills Hauzar with all of the swamp water we have all the different environments in the overworld and we tried to make sure there was some parity with those in the dungeons we have dungeons that are flooded and there's like moss everywhere it very much fits in with ex-gosglan environment kedjistan is all desert so we have dungeons filled with sand all the dungeons are particularly placed to make sure that they feel mm. like this is a thing that could be in this part of the world it fits here it belongs here that's cool monsters we definitely redesigned some of the monsters for example the fallen family has gone through a major redesign to make them feel more grim a little scarier a little darker to match the tone of diablo 4. monster families are a way to describe the group of monsters that create a combat experience a lot of times they'll be brutes and swarmers melee or casters and that's the term that we use to sum up the vampires or the drown oh that's cozy the See, and like, all of them have third person would be cool, man. But they all like, synchronize top, together, like the they bolster floor. each other and improve how they work on the battlefield so that every time you fight a pack of, let's say, goat men, it's always different. We wanted to make sure that the monster families all felt like they fit in their environments, and so well, our like team did a right. really good job of making these different red versions jacket. That's of cool. them that have the adapted jacket. to their environment. Oh, you got the so there's snowy goat men and fractured peaks and some of the colder areas. Yeah, that's lightning crazy. goat men are in dry steps and kind of the more Dude, arid areas. Dude, crazy Hauser looking. has a lot of poison ah, spiders. Fuck. Hey, Each spiders. of the regions has its own kind of flavor, and it's pretty exciting to discover. We have some really cool new snake men, the Nangari. But we've seen snake men in Diablo before, but these guys are just really twisted amalgamations of multiple snake heads, even human body parts. We have skeletons, we have undead, we have- They're like ghosts, a boss, huh? All the things you would expect to find from a Diablo game. Spiders have been around in Diablo forever, but the spider host was a cool new twist. It's a giant spider that attaches to a corpse and then puppets it at you. And when you kill it, it explodes with tons of baby spiders. 
and then those little spiders come after you, and I feel slightly guilty about traumatizing a lot of people with it. We also have wildlife, <laughs> deer, snakes, bugs, dogs. You can pet the dogs, by the way. So many people ask wow. to pet the dog. <laughs> really? A, a lot of hard work to figure out how to pet that dang dog. So dumb. <laughs> You have so many activities Why do people that act you might run dumb into. Like that. It could be a stronghold. It could be side quests. You might have key dungeons to do. There could be bounties to pick up. You might encounter a world boss. You might encounter an invasion. I would say focus on we have making the game better than petting sort of narrative dog. heavy side quests, and we have some shorter side quests. So you never feel like you're always doing the same thing. The pacing is always a little bit different. One of the things that I really loved about our announcement was the are the cutscenes. I yeah, was that was a good one. Build a quest where you actually get to go to those places. You get to go to the town. You get to go inside the that chapel. Would be, yeah, of course. And yeah, I work that with some incredible cool. dungeon designers to build the dungeon from the cinematic. You're gonna get to go across the bridge that you saw the actual to bridge? the actual room where Lilith was summoned. I don't want to oh, spoil too much, but cool. I'm super excited to have players see it. Spoiler. Sometimes it's kind of nice to just walk places because that's a lot of the times when you see these little events. You might find a demonic altar that you need to feed your blood to, to summon demons to then defeat for all of their loot. You might find a ghost child who's trying to find the remains of their parents and you have to protect them. We have strongholds, which are a sort of large area that you can enter and it has its own story, its own setup, its own sort of art that sort of tells a very specific story about this location. And those stay unlocked permanently once you've beaten back the darkness. We did a lot of figuring out the balance between like how much space do we need for players mm -hmm. to play through these dungeons versus how much space do we need to make them look cool. My favorite is this one called Endless Gates. It's got these teleporters and these teleporters actually take you to other dungeons. So you'll end up in a cave, a crypt, or one of the ancients. Oh, like and every a... time you go in, it's designed to change. Like a... There's dozens oh, so of it's kind of like, oh, uh, you know what you they're doing? They're doing like the... The towns are designed to be hubs, uh, they're, they're havens, they're uh, places where you can find they're doing something players. Like that, like they're good places to do all of your usual inventory management. But it changes, it's not the same has thing. main city that you can get lots of side quests and lots of activities. We've really crafted the world to feel like there's always something just around the corner to find. In Diablo just 4, you actually get to walk Sanctuary. It's a massive place that you can seamlessly explore with no loading in between zones, which is something brand new. It's a very immersive experience. What I love about it is that you can go in a direction and you might be searching for a particular quest or an item and you'll come across a stronghold that you haven't explored before. You'll come across dungeons that have legendary affixes or you might discover a side Why quest do you walk that around you didn't that even know about thing? that fills in some bit of lore that you actually were interested in. There's any number of things that can happen along the road to your destination and that's what I love about having this fast space. There are tons of different types of events in the world. It's been created to feel full of things to encounter, full of secrets to discover, full of characters to interact with, full of stories to find. We have these altars to Lilith that if you can find them, they will give you a permanent buff to all of your characters across the game. There are tons of them hidden everywhere. So we is also she have these massive bad? Little bosses that are so oh, big the camera good. actually has to pull oh, out even further. And you're gonna have an opportunity like, to fight these bosses like, I don't really with know friends or with strangers um, to take down the these lore that very well. bosses. Like enough the for me to like an incredible job judge a story. Sanctuary, a world worth exploring and a world I mean, I'm worth sure it's a good story. investing yourself in. I'm sure it's a good story, but too. Okay. Okay. Uh, when is it? Uh, the open beta is on March twenty fourth to twenty six. And the oh, uh, the early access is from the seventeenth. Oh, that's cool, dude. Um, yeah. So there you have it. So this is the inside the game for Diablo Four. Um, yeah, so like I'm really um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I have a few questions though, cause I mean, like I want to know, like, is she good? Is she bad? Like, like why is she giving you a buff if she's bad? I, I mean, like from what I know from these horns, I mean, she, she doesn't seem like a good person. But you know, like I'm not gonna judge anyone. You know, uh, judge a book by its cover and stuff. But yeah, um, like I really like. Uh, like I did have a few questions as far as like. This jacket though right here, <laughs> the jacket. Hold on. This, uh, stop it. Hold on. We wanted to bring this jacket. I really like this jacket. I just wanted you to know. Where can I buy this jacket? It's like this bomber jacket, dude. It's like so cool, dude. I want one. Okay. Uh, but for real though, um, like like I did like 
I did like the transitions. Uh, oh, this the like I did like when they said, where is it? Uh, I I did like when they said that they wanted to make the game uh, kind of like a painting, you know. So like it kind of feels like you know you're going to a museum and you're um, discovering, I guess those those type of things as you uh, go into the world and you know you're like immerse yourself in the world and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so. I just hope that one day they can make Diablo Four kind of like in the bottom floor, you know, like eye level type type deal. That would be cool for you know, because I don't play it that much, but like I have played it and it's fun, you know. Like I really like that game. Um, and this jacket right here, yeah. And then what else? Uh, yeah. So, oh, uh, yeah. So the other thing that like i did like is the fact that you can transition from world to world because uh, i remember uh playing a few i think was it uh, three i think i don't remember but you have to oh yeah when you go to like a dungeon i think like don't you have to like um teleport or or, or like kind of like a cutscene or whatever to go into the dungeon and stuff oh and the fact that they're trying to do it like um tour guest where like it changes um but you go towards the portal and stuff so that so like it's not the same thing that was that was that looks kind of cool you know um sorry um and like these like world bosses do that be cool dude to like you know fight these fight this guy uh oh uh one thing i do have a question on is if there's world bosses like is it going to be like um uh like a like another player i guess i mean like these I mean, this one does look like players, but like, is there something that you have to do on your own? Like, is there like, you know, like, 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 is there a world PVP too, where like, if you see someone, you'd be like, hey man, uh, like I don't like you, and just start fighting them, you know? Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, this game looks pretty cool, you know. Like, I really am. Uh, oh, dude, this map right here, like, dude, like the maps in in uh, Devil Four, they they do look um, pretty awesome. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know what you your guys' thoughts and opinions and everything like that, what it is. And please uh, tell me more about this game, uh, about uh, Diablo 4. Like, tell me more about the lore. Because like, I don't really know the lore like that very well or at all, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I am really looking forward to this game. And if you like these type of videos, uh, please make sure that you, that you like and subscribe. And that way, like, I can know that you like these videos and I can do more of these type of videos or, or something else. Uh, you tell me what what uh, what type of videos you guys want me to do and I'll for sure do them. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.